What up, big dogs? I apologize if I plug this into way too many videos this week, but it is an announcement that I need to make. We are hiring a full stack web developer. If you don't give a shit about that, fantastic. You can skip to this time. Tony, please link whenever the actual video itself starts. But remember, it's rude to skip introductions. We are hiring a full stack web developer for BDG. E. So if you are a full stack web developer and you are in the fantasy space, if you're familiar with BDGE and the brand, that is where we will be looking to hire first from within. Please contact info at bigdogsfantasy.com. We are looking for someone with real experience, okay? So I'm sorry we're not taking anybody from college. We're not taking anybody that does not actually have experience doing full stack web development work. You will be helping maintain, improve, innovate on our membership website, bdge.store. You will be helping create many new tools such as a dynasty trade calculator. You will be working on e-commerce stuff. You will be working on WordPress and the plugins. You will be working on all the nightmarish things like catch problem, cash problems, however the fuck you say it. And you will be working with us in our office in New York City, which will be coming early 2022. So if you are a full stack web developer and you think you have what it takes and you're good and you have experience and you want to work with us for us, please reach out. Info at bigdogsfantasy.com. Now bike to your regularly scheduled film. Okay, so over the next two days, we are going to be rapidly releasing four videos. I don't know how the sequence is going to work. If we're going to go running back then wide receiver or one running back, one wide receiver, worst, best, best, worst, you know, we just do the damn thing, put it out as quickly as we can. We're going to be looking at the single best and the single worst fantasy playoff schedules for running back groups and wide receiver groups as we enter the fantasy playoffs. So weeks 14, 15, 16, 17, if I want to emphasize a point or a team has an increasingly bad schedule or a good schedule dating back to week 12, 13, I will include those as well. The rankings on these charts in terms of the defenses and how they rank against running backs will be fantasy points per game allowed to that position. You'll be able to see it on the chart. So this video is going to be the seven worst playoff schedules for fantasy running backs. Y'all know what we gotta do. We gotta tuck our shirts in. Stop yelling. And let's see. So these are in no particular order. These are just, uh, I kind of ripped them off as I as I saw them, as they went down the schedule. And I was like, this is bad, this is bad, this is real fucking bad. And we're going to talk about it. So the first team up on this list is the Miami Dolphins. Remember, this is uh, a year in which they obviously extended the schedule an extra week. So there's 18 weeks in the season, which means there are buys in week 14. That can be a monster problem. One, because the regular season goes to 18 weeks. Most of y'all are going to have your fantasy championships in week 17 instead of week 16. But for those of y'all that have leagues in which you play two weeks per playoff matchup, right? Like, you know, weeks 14, 15 are going to be the first matchup. Weeks 16, 17 will be the championship matchup, right? You play two weeks, best of the two games or whatever, ends up winning the round and advancing or bringing home the hardware. So we went back from week 14 to 17. And this is a big problem because there are a lot of buys in week 14. The teams on buy in week 14, we have the Indianapolis Colts, the Miami Dolphins, the New England Patriots, and the Philadelphia Eagles. So we're looking at the Miami Dolphins and they have their buy in week 14. After that, they play the New York Jets. And I know what you're thinking, like that alone should wipe out the fact that they're on this list. They are the single most generous in terms of allowing fantasy points per game to the running back position. First overall, meaning they are the worst team at defending fantasy running backs. A lot of teams get up big leads. And you'll see that throughout these rankings as well in these charts that some teams that you thought might be, you know, worse or better or whatever, not that much because a lot of the time is volume. Like you'll see, you'll see a team like maybe like Houston or Detroit and you'll say like, oh, they're a lot better against the pass or against fantasy wide receivers than I thought. A lot of the time it's because the opposite team, their game plan or game script ends up, you know, giving their running backs 35 touches and the quarterback only throws for 22 pass attempts or something because that's all they needed to do to win the game. So just keep that in mind as we're going down. New York Jets. The most generous, but the Miami Dolphins in most people's fantasy playoffs are on the road in two consecutive games at New Orleans and at Tennessee, two of the toughest fantasy points per game defenses to the running back position. So again, I'm not going to give like in-depth analysis on certain players or whether or not you should trade this guy for that guy. I'm going to throw this info out there for y'all. You can do with it 
whatever your little heart pleases. So the last two weeks for Miami are brutal. Let's move over to Carolina. And I talked about this in Fade the Public last week. Carolina has a really, really brutal schedule to finish up the year for Mr. Christian McCaffrey, of course. You look at weeks 14, they're against Atlanta. Great matchup. I mean, Christian McCaffrey's going to catch like 56 fucking passes in that game. He'll single-handedly get you into the playoffs or win you that first week of the double week matchup for the fantasy playoffs. After that, at Buffalo, Tampa Bay, at New Orleans. Buffalo 22nd, Tampa Bay 29th, and the Saints are the single hardest matchup against the running back position in fantasy. If you guys have any questions about, you know, like, should I trade this guy for this guy? Who should I be targeting? Again, I'm not going to go into that in the video right now. I just want to get the schedules out there for you guys. Just drop them in the comments and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can with my correct but humble ass opinion. New York Jets, next team up here. You see a lot of red there. You see a lot of red and orange. The Jets play in week 14, the Saints, obviously the toughest matchup in the NFL for fantasy running backs. At Miami, Jacksonville, and Tampa Bay. Remember going into this year, Miami was supposed to have a very good defense. And that hasn't been the case, but a lot of it is because their offense has been pretty shitty. So a lot of time you are letting up a lot of points, which doesn't allow, you know, game script. It doesn't allow a lot of these things. So you, you, you look at it and you think you have an idea of what, you know, they're doing against opponents, but clearly 25th ranked against fantasy running backs. Not good. I think they're kind of whipping into shape a little bit. They've looked better over the last four weeks, eight weeks, whatever. And Miami's not that easy of a matchup. Jacksonville, middle of the pack, but obviously it's not easy. It's not like top 10 or top eight, which is maybe what you thought it would be. And then they end their season, fantasy season at least, against Tampa Bay, you know, bottom three in terms of run defense allowed to fantasy running back. So brutal, brutal slate for New York. Uh, Michael Carter is going to be coming back from his high ankle sprain in the midst of that slate. So not a good combination for that man. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Eagles, one of those teams on the bye in week 14. So that's brutal in itself. Washington, they play Washington twice in a three week span after the bye. And Washington has been the fifth toughest matchup for fantasy running backs. So a lot of people probably don't realize that, you know, we've been making fun of Washington's defense, but they're one of those teams that has whipped bike into shape. They have looked really, really good over the last four, five, six, seven weeks of the season against fantasy running backs. They are not an easy team to run the ball against. Again, they were one of the teams that you come into the year fearful of from a fantasy perspective. If you have guys going against them, they dipped off completely the first month of the season. You could start anybody against them, but they are whipping bike into shape. So they do get the Giants, but the fact that they have Washington twice, uh, the last game is an away game. They have a bye in those last four weeks. The Giants does not you know, uphold that side of the seesaw enough to make it feel like this is a good matchup for anybody. So clear as day, y'all can see that. What else is clear as day is my vision and my eyesight because I'm wearing these glasses from Felix Gray. I love Felix Gray. They are blue light blocking glasses, right? These are like one of the healthiest things that you can adapt to your life. It takes no effort, takes no time. You even look good. You look smart wearing them, okay? So they look good. And Felix Gray is one of the only companies that actually has these glasses. They are one of the only blue light blocking glasses that actually look stylish. They don't have like the bright orange rims, right? Like you're repping Cincinnati bangles at all times. They don't have that. They're also, again, they can do blue light and prescription if you have prescription. But I recommend anybody, any normal person who doesn't need prescription glasses to get a pair of these because at night, they block the blue light. We're always watching TV, Netflix at night. We're on our phones, scrolling through Twitter, looking at my shitty Twitter. Make sure you're following me at Nick Urquano on both Twitter and Instagram. These protect you from that. And that means you're going to sleep better. That means your eye strain is going to be non-existent. When I first started BDGE, who knew we'd be on the prowl for a full stack web developer? It's a beautiful thing. Make sure you hit us up, info at bigdogfantasy.com. When I first started, man, I was on my laptop for like 12 to 14 hours a day. By the end of the day, my eyes were literally going to droop out of my face holes. No longer the case with Felix Gray. So Felix Gray is having their Black Friday deal for the next week or so. So if you use the link right down below, it's going to take you to a promo code page and that's going to give it to you. Everything 15 is the code you're going to use after you go through the link, first link in the description, everything 15 for 15% off their entire site right now. Grab one for you, one for your girlfriend, one for you, one for your husband. Are there any girls? I know it's very wishful thinking, but I'm telling you, these will be the best purchase you ever, ever, ever make. You'll love them. Once the sun goes down, the glasses go down. FelixGray.com. Check them out. Blue light blockers. They're wonderful. The Cincinnati Bengals, scheduled to end the year. Not wonderful. All right. They are playing the 49ers in week 14, who have been a much improved defense over the last month of the season, but still 18th toughest schedule uh, against fantasy running backs. They are at Denver, 23rd, so bottom 10 in the league for a matchup against fantasy running backs, Baltimore, Kansas City. So really, there's no like really, really tough matchups on here, but none of them are easy whatsoever. San Francisco, Denver, Baltimore, KC. 
Baltimore is definitely whipping up into shape. Kansas City has been a much better over the last four weeks, and a lot of teams have to pass the ball against them, although they rank highly against wide receivers as well. That video, those videos, the best and worst fantasy playoff matchups for wide receivers, will be dropping on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel right now to catch those videos. So Joe Mixon and Cincinnati Bengals have a, have a relatively tough slate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple dud games out of Mr. Mixon. The New England Patriots next up on this list. They are one of the teams with a bye in week 14. Then they have to travel on the road at Indy, 30th overall, bottom three in terms of matchups. Really, really good run defense. They're a pass funnel team. You can throw the ball against them, but it's very difficult to run. That that tends to happen when you have these fast linebackers, right? The Darius Leonard's and those types. Tough to get up the hole because they close on the hole so, so, so quickly. You have Buffalo. We know they're just a tough defense. And Jacksonville, as I said, not an easy cake matchup like most people presume it to be. So this might be a time where, you know, I'm excited about Ramondre Stevenson. I like Damian Harris, but the fact that they have a buy in week 14 plus like three bottom non-plus matchups are not a good combination for the running back by committee that we have in New England. And last up on this list of the seven worst fantasy running back playoff schedules are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're another team that benefits from having the Jets on there. Oops, I had New Orleans at 31, but they are 32. So you have Buffalo in week 14, New Orleans, Carolina, the New York Jets. Buffalo is 22nd. New Orleans is dead last in terms of generosity to fantasy running backs, so they're supposed to be 32. Carolina is the runner-up there, 31st. So they're the second toughest run defense against fantasy running backs in the NFL. So if you can make it to Week 17 where the Bucks travel to MetLife and there's absolutely no life or soul left in the New York Jets defenders, Lombardi Lenny's going to run that hardware bike for you, man. Just like last year, he's going to finish strong, probably get 22 carries in that game, two touchdowns. Bucks win by 40 fucking three points and it's going to be glorious. But to get there, it's a tough road. Buffalo, New Orleans, at Carolina, three of the tougher run defenses in the NFL when it comes to this fantasy shit. All right? So that is all I've got for you today. But remember, we have a few announcements here. We've got the best schedules for fantasy running backs dropping in a little bit, so make sure you're subscribed. And then probably tomorrow, possibly on Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, I guess, if that's when you're watching that, the best and worst for wide receivers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get in on those. Make sure you drop us a like down there. It lets YouTube know that we make good content for y'all. If we make good content for y'all and you're interested in working with us, of course, reach out. Info at BigDogFantasy.com. We're looking for a full-time, full-stack web developer. Okay? I love y'all. Go check out FelixGray.com. Use code EVERYTHING15 for 15% off when you go through the link down below. I'm out of here.